Alrighty guys, how special is it um, after six years, he's been on your staff at HL, now he's about to come here at Terrebonne and do his own thing. So how special is it to see him get the job here at Terrebonne? Uh, it's, it's pretty awesome. I mean, uh, we're a soccer family. We've been playing soccer our whole life. So uh, to see uh, him being successful with me at HL, and then I know he's going to do a pretty good job here over here at Terrebonne, not looking forward to playing against him, but uh, you know, he's, he's going to be successful here. So I'm looking forward to see what he can do on his own over here. Mm -hmm. Just how special is it for you to get the job here at Turbo? You know, it's very special for me. Uh, I've been playing soccer my whole life, coaching kids good eight years now, you know, I've helped HL Bourgeois be pretty, hopefully be pretty successful. And now, you know, I think it's time for me to step away and do my own thing. You know, I'm, I'm really excited to take over a program in Terrebonne Parish where I started playing soccer. You know, I think it's a great opportunity. HL and Terrebonne, man, that's a historic robbery. So how you guys are going to handle, you know, being on the opposite side from each other now? It's uh, just the play between the players. I, they, they all know each other, so I, I know... I mean, we've been on the sideline together for the past six years, and the competitiveness between the players themselves has been uh, up there pretty high for us. And, and uh, the outcomes of the game have gone back and forth the past few years. So uh, we know we, we see how competitive the players get together b between HL and Terrebonne. And I think uh, us being on the different sidelines, not really, we're on the same sideline, but being on different benches is going to be pretty exciting and uh, going to add to the intensity level, I think. Mm -hmm. Anything you want to add about that? I mean, obviously you're changing colors now. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, change, I'm changing colors here. You know, uh, emo, emotion, emotions a big, a big thing. You know, and uh, I think, I think after leaving HL, coming here to Terrebonne, there's going to be a lot of emotion. First. First, first time on the sideline. Um, I'm hoping that that I personally am able to handle that. I know, I know my team. I'm gonna have my team prepared, but for me playing against former players and everything else, it definitely be, definitely be a little bit of motion. Mm -hmm. Has there always been a, a sibling rivalry between you guys? Yeah, you know, I'm not gonna let my younger brother beat up on me at all. <laughs> so. Uh, now, now that I went terrible, and I don't, I don't intend to let my little brother, brother beat me on the field at all either. <laughs> hey, it's uh, yeah, I think we we both have a pretty competitive spirit, and uh, growing up, I mean, he's a he's three years older than me, so growing up, he was, he was always uh, a little a little more a little further advanced athleticism uh, growing up. Uh, so I always looked up to him his, with him playing and everything. And uh, But now that we're out here coaching against each other, I, ho I hope I can level the playing field out there and uh, maybe get one up on him this time. But what's some, what's some things y'all learn from each other? Obviously, y'all probably bounced ideas off of each other, you know, especially since he's on his own now. Y'all probably saying, well, you could do this, you could do that. You know, how have y'all, you know, learned from each other over the years? Well, I mean, uh, I feel like I, I think I, I was introduced into the coaching world before him. So learning about the aspects of coaching, the uh, management of teams and everything, I think uh, I was able to help him out with that. Uh, as far as knowledge of the game, I, you know, I've, I've come along the way, but uh, I definitely have always respected his input and listened to what he had to say because uh, he's definitely uh, very knowledgeable. He's played at different levels and so as far as that aspect of the game, his knowledge of the game, it's it's pretty it's pretty high up there, and I definitely have respected his input on everything we've done. Mm -hmm. And what's some things you learned from him? You know, uh, with with him being in the military and him being a head coach for for a program at HL before I became a, a head coach, I've learned a, a lot a lot of different things. I mean. Like I, like I've already said, I'm a pretty emotional emotional person sometimes, and he's able to calm me calm me down a lot, you know. So uh, I'm gonna have to learn as far as 
being able to calm down and be on the sideline by myself without my brother there being like, hey man, you need to uh, you need to chill out a little bit. <laughs> but uh, but as far as as far as uh, just being here, you know, I'm I'm just happy. You know, I'm happy to be here. So I know it's tough right now with the virus going on, and uh, you probably can't see your players at the moment or something. But uh, what can we expect from both teams this year? HL, Terrebonne, I know both teams have been winning. You know, Terrebonne made it to the quarters last year, I think. So what can we expect, and what do y'all hope to do with the team this upcoming year, despite all the stuff going on right now? Thank God. You know, I, I, ex I expect Terrebonne to, uh, to, to keep up keep up with their winning with their success you know I, I don't expect them to drop off too much we my goals are I intend to make playoffs every year and we'll see we'll make a run we'll see what happens making a run in the playoffs you know I mean you never know what'll happen uh, I, I expect all the players to come out here and give as much energy and excitement that I have that I have for the game uh, I feel I feel Terrebonne's very young this season. Uh, from looking at the paperwork and everything, uh, that we only have three seniors. I mean, we'll see who's willing to step up and take control whenever they on the field. Mm -hmm. And what can we expect from the Braves? Ah, the Braves, well, I, I'm very, very excited, probably more excited about any any team uh, since I've been at HL. This is by far the most experienced team. Uh, the most leadership on the team. We we gonna we will probably have anywhere between 11 to 13 seniors, something around there. Uh, so the leadership of this team has definitely is definitely gonna surpass anything we've had so far. And uh, I'm really excited about what we've built at HL. I'm, I'm happy to see him at Terrebonne, but you know, it's sad sad to see him go, especially this season. Is I feel like this season's gonna uh, we're going to see all the hard work we put into the program come out this year. And I'm expected, uh, we definitely have no doubt in my mind we're a playoff team this next year, and uh, hopefully we can make a deep run in the playoffs. At the end of the day, you want to see your kids be successful and go on and do great things in their careers. What it all boils down to for me, you know, I, I played at the college level. I played a little bit of semi-pro. You know, I just want to see my players be able to make it further than what I've ever been able to. You know, so so my goals may be high, but I know that I can achieve that. I know I can help them get there. You know, there's certain things that I did in my life that put me to where I'm, I was able to to have a little bit of success. You know, and I, I want the opportunity to be able to help those kids at least at least get to where they want to get to in their soccer career. You know. Uh, obviously, winning is important, and you know most people will look at this and say, "Oh, the brothers are competing against each other." But at the end of the day, you want to see your student at least do the best they can on the field and in life, also. A absolutely. I mean, it's a, uh, it's a. I love seeing former players and, and seeing where they're at in life, and uh, you know, hopefully, I can have an impact on on not just what they're doing on the field, but you know, the success in life in general, where they're going. Uh, you know. I, it's funny, me being in, I was in the Marine Corps uh, before I started doing all this, and and I've, I've had a lot of players uh, join the military since since uh, I've been coaching at HL, and it's that's one thing I, I see, and I'm pretty proud of those guys. I don't know if I have an, an influence on that. I don't push nobody towards it, but uh, to see people doing stuff like that, serving their country and then even going on to college and being successful in, in their everyday lives it's, it's that's what it's that's what it's all about and one more thing like i think he mentioned uh soccer has always been the thing that bring brought y'all together right you know i know y'all probably did other sports but is soccer what makes soccer so special for you guys well it's something about it that makes it stand out <laughs> It's, it's the sport that, you know, I grew up loving. You know, you can just get out there anytime you want in the rain, sunshine, by yourself, kick a ball around, you know. For me, it, it, for me, it was just a, a getaway, you know. Whenever stress got you, got you down, you know, I would go out there and kick a ball around and just do whatever I wanted to do because I, I felt 
it felt good, you know, I love the sport. And I think every year that I grew up, I got older and older, I just fell more and more in love with the sport. And I just want to give that love back. I mean, this is, this is the best way that I know of, is, you know, is be able to come out here and coach these young kids, maybe win a championship, maybe not win a championship, but it's, I'm just coming out here and giving some soccer love, man, you know. Yeah, the, you know, it's, it's definitely always brought us together, but, you know, not just us together, but people around us. And I feel like the sport of soccer is, is, is just, it's easy. It's easy to pick up a ball. I mean, you can use any kind of round ball. that You see a round ball laying around, you pick it up, and you start kicking it around. And, and you can play a form of the game anywhere. Anywhere you go, you can uh, pick up the game somewhere and, and have some kind of competitive atmosphere going on with the you and the people around you and uh, I mean it's just growing up as a young young kid I mean it's something that we've sport we've always played but uh, it just kind of followed up into our uh, adult adult life and now we're continuing with it you know soccer soccer in this area is is really small you know compared to a lot of other areas in in, in the world you know, even in, in our state, you know, and I, I just, I feel like us being brothers, us coaching in the, in the area is bringing more people together playing soccer, you know. We want to try and get people out watching this game, you know. It's a lovely game, I mean, passing the ball around, scoring goals. I mean, kids getting excited. I mean, they're learning a whole bunch of different lessons, you know what I mean. It's, it's just a wonderful sport. I mean, it's, you got basketball, you got football, you know, you got baseball. I mean, all, a lot of kids are playing all those different sports. But for some reason, I mean, being out here, kicking the soccer ball around, I mean, you can tell the passion and the love that all these kids have out here. And I just, I just, wanna, I just want more of it. You know, I just want more kids playing this, playing this sport, you know? And I, I feel like both of us, both of us actually that's that's probably part big reason why we got in, into into coaching you know we just want to spread spread this game you know it's start it's starting to get get bigger in in the parish you know i mean racing's got a lot of good teams homeland's got a lot of good teams and i mean you're seeing more kids coming up from the middle school you know playing soccer and it, it's it's exciting you know it makes you want to be out here more you know so I'm just, I'm just super excited to get started. I mean, I just want, like I said before, I just want to spread some more soccer love around this area. You know, have as many people as they want to play this lovely game come out here and kick the ball around. I mean, I just want to help. Mm -hmm. That's great. And with that said, anyone you guys want to thank for helping you? Uh, obviously, Turbone gave you the job. Parents, you know, probably motivated you guys. Anybody, you guys want to? Um, thank for helping you guys get this this far in your careers i mean first i would like to thank my brother for giving me the opportunity to, to assist that hl you know without that opportunity terrible probably would have never given me the opportunity you know uh i think another person that probably pushed me to this was was my mom you know she's she's a nurse she was a nurse she went from nursing became a teacher and she always she always pushed me. She's like, Ryan, you need to get out there and coach some kids and show them what you know and love, you know? I mean, that's a good thing for you. So, I mean, my mom was probably a big influence in me coming out here coaching as well. Yeah, same thing. Family, I mean, uh, family's always been very supportive of, of us uh, doing this and uh, definitely want to thank him for, for, I mean, big reason of HL Bourgeois success is, is from ha him having having him at my side so uh, that's been great and uh, I mean the players out here they I mean their motivation I thank them for for come for motivating me because their uh, attitude and and drive to be out there playing is, is a big thing for me.